Hey guys and welcome to another Mac Production tutorial. I'm Mohammed and uh, in this tutorial I will be um hmm I will be solving these two problems. So you're unable to register FumeFX or the FumeFX is saying that the temporary or default output path are invalid. So these problems were addressed by uh Hakan who's watched my video on YouTube and he faced another problem after watching my previous video which was the fumefx.ini writing file so uh, he said that after that you know fumefx been causing more trouble so let's go ahead and solve these problems let me go ahead and get rid of everything here I'll go ahead and reset the scene just to just so that we don't have any changes okay now here I will select the fumefx and I'll create a box and this is when you see the error of fume temporary output path now go ahead and ignore the error and continue going to the fume FX user interface which you can also access from the modify panel if you still had to have the fume FX box selected and click on this icon right here and this should bring up the fume FX interface now when you're in here simply go ahead and go into the output path select that um, three dots um, now you can create this folder anywhere it will it will uh, put the output there where simply I like it when let me just go ahead and make this a little more viewable so I like to create mine uh, in the 3D max folder so go ahead I've renamed this theme effects out output and just select that and then you can select which one Wait, every time you're working with a new project you it's better off you creating a new folders and you can delete the old ones later on okay um, so here you know this when you create the folder go ahead and click uh, open and then just click save okay now I'm not going to save because I already set my output folder and that should fix your problem on that error okay so this is now complete now working with uh, unable to register now a few effects has been causing a lot of people trouble with registering uh, one of the problem is uh, let me go ahead and show you um, services dot, let's see. okay so right now you don't want to be doing any of this that I'm doing now because <laughs> this would oh then I've already got it open so I'll go close this okay so I'll go on and stop this service so when you create a theme effects and there we go this is the arrow that it gives it says the uh, <coughs> this may resolve by resetting manually the DCP files okay it's not flakes but I like to call it files I don't know why <laughs> no <sighs> okay so go into my computer, go into the OS, so that's the C drive or whichever drive you've installed it in. Currently I'm using a 64-bit window so I'll go into program files and go and look for DCP clicks. And there's the tool. You need to run this tool. Now if you're running it from here then it just wouldn't work because you need to run this add in, a, as an administrator if you're using Windows Vista or Windows XP. If you're using um, sorry if you're using Windows Vista or Windows 7 if you're using XP just go ahead and run it so click yes run it as an administrator okay now <coughs> here are the DCP files it says that it's installed but I still like to click install it says it's already installed go and start the service and the service is now running now to further avoid this error later on go on servicesmsc and click enter if you're using Windows XP go ahead and click the run command which is usually right here in XP okay so in here go ahead and go down and look for DCP files do not mess around with any of the other ones <laughs> and right click on this one go on properties and go on start up automatically you probably be set on manual so send it to automatically do not start delay you can probably you know just stick with whatever is the best. I would recommend doing automatic. Click apply, click OK and that should start the DCP files automatically. Right click and if it's not started, good click on start. Okay. Close this out. Ooh, a lot of talking there. And now when you go into 3D Studio Max and you oops click on there, there we go. You can now create your 
FilmFX box without any errors occurring. Okay, so that's pretty much all from Mac production videos. You know, if you have any problem with any of the software, please do go ahead and email me at mak underscore productions at hotmail dot com. And uh, it'd be great if you go ahead and subscribe to my channel and leave any comments down below. So that's pretty much all. Any further help or advice needed, please do go ahead and contact me on the email address. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.